George, how did you sleep last night? I beg your pardon. How did you sleep last night? Very good. How's your breakfast, George? <laughs> Pancake and cereal. There's not really much here, but that's okay. It's just a free breakfast. Okay, George, we're set to our next destination. Pacific Union. Pacific Union College and then Ems Haven and then to Red Bluff. Right. And this is where we are staying right now. Executive Executive Inn and Suite. Suite. We are on uh, Freeway 80. Uh, that this freeway goes to San Francisco, but we're gonna make a turn according to the GPS. We're gonna turn to the Jameson Canyon Road, 6.9 miles. Beautiful grounds of Ellen White's house. It's, it's so beautiful here, George. Oh, yes. They really maintain it. And that's the house. Look at beautiful here. Here. There's the bathroom. Oh yeah. Okay, we just went to the bathroom and we're gonna go in, in the front. Look at the beautiful beautiful surroundings. Oh. Well
We are here in the porch of M's uh, We'll go in here. This is the first room. Oh, nice. And you can sign our guest book. And today is the 9th of October. Mm-hmm. Uh, 10.09. All right, and then you just put where you're from and... Mm -hmm. And, uh, hey George. Yeah, so where do you live? Uh, in in the Ventura County. Oh, that's south. Yeah. Way uh -huh. south. And Did you've you say been, print? Yeah. And you've been on a trip. You went up to Sacramento. Yeah, last night our first stop over. The plan originally was to go straight to Red Bluff, but I changed my mind to stop by here before going there so that coming back we can go straight to Sacramento. To, uh, San Francisco. Yeah. <laughs> that will save us time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. Well, we're glad to. He's, he Can was born in Red Bull, somewhere in there. Should in I give the home phone? You don't need to. We won't yeah. call you. <laughs> 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 Just where you're from. And yeah, where you're from. You know, like where you live. Mm -hmm. And what's your name? I'm Esther. Uh, Esther uh, Dubosk. Dubosk? Yeah. And. You've been here a long time? Two years. Two years? Two years. <laughs> Are you a relative of Ellen White? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> a grand, grand, granddaughter? Uh, two, two greats. <laughs> two greats. Great, great. Uh huh. Granddaughter. My mother was um, through her mother. Mm -hmm. And uh, my grandmother was the first daughter of Willie. Oh, Willie White. your grandmother was the daughter of Willie White. Oh, and she was the first granddaughter. Mm -hmm. So she's my grandma. Ellen is my grandma's grandma. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I know you have a Facebook friend who's also uh, I don't know. He, mm -hmm. He's a pastor, young pastor. Ron. Uh, ju Cook? Just. Justin. Justin. Tarosian. Yeah, Tarosian. Oh, yeah, he's pastoring in Armona. Uh huh. And how uh, how is, how far is he from Ellen White? Well, he's the next generation after his mom and I are sisters. Oh really? Oh, that's cool. And we... then, so he's the three generation, you know, three greats. Uh huh. Yeah. So he's, he's the next one. Yeah, we're yeah. we're Facebook friends. <laughs> Good. Yeah, he has a lot of. So over in Australia, Willie had married another lady, May Lacey, and he had three children with her over there mm -hmm. and they so the five of the children were coming over on the boat yeah. and they settled here with Mrs. White mm -hmm. um, she she was able to find this place uh, when she was up at the hospital mm -hmm. she was relaxing and the rest of them were looking for housing in Oakland Beautiful and they place. couldn't find Oak anything mm -hmm. but the Lord uh, led her here and she was able to buy the house and 60 acres with it for five thousand dollars. <laughs> that was way back in 18... 1900. Oh, August of 1900. Uh -huh. Yeah, because she passed away in 1915. Yes, yeah. and then she lived here that, the last 15 years of her life. She, she was a widow when mm. she came. She was 72 years old when she moved in here, but it was a home that fit everybody that helped her to work. So this is the, some of her life uh, life materials. This is her handwriting. Kind of hard to see. <laughs> I don't think I have a... And I don't know if I can find a flashlight on my mm -hmm. phone. Where is the flashlight on here? <laughs> uh, usually... If... I don't have it running because it takes up a lot of... It takes uh, up a lot of well, um, maybe sometimes, like this. sometimes it's there. Okay. Oh, good. Hey, that's a good. Oh, yeah. So see, there's the, there's her handwriting when she was twenty. Beautiful Very, writing. Yes, yeah. she learned that before she dropped out of school. <laughs> and then she has bigger writing. Even when she's seventy-nine, she wrote this, mm -hmm. and that's just a little larger. That came from here. Uh huh. Mm hmm. 
She named this place Elm's Haven because of the elm trees that lined the, the uh -huh. roadway when they came. Now she she had a nurse that took care of her for 30 years. That's Sarah McInturfer was her mother. Uh -huh. And she worked with her. She was here with her when she, until she died. Mm -hmm. She was with her in Australia as well, in Europe. And she called her mother, uh -huh. even though they weren't blood related. And then this is the man who bought the house after after um, Mrs. White. Well, it was in other hands for about 12 years after she died uh -huh. because she had to sell it, pay off debts, yeah. but everything was taken care of. And then he bought this in 1927. Uh, and then he lived here till 1956. Mm -hmm. oh, three years old then. <laughs> and in, then? In 27? Yeah. So you were born in? 24. 24. Oh, my mother was born in 22. Oh? Yeah. Really? Yeah. She's in her 90s. So, so this man, uh, then when he died, his wife donated the property to the Pacific Union Conference. The rest of it is been added. These are the nine books she wrote in this home. She wrote Education Here, The Ministry of Healing, Gospel Workers, Counsels to Parents, Teachers, and Students, mm -hmm. Acts of the Apostles, Prophets and Kings, which is the last volume she wrote. A writer and editor mm -hmm. for our church so this, paper. So this clock was donated by Uriah Smith? Yes. Uh, well, he died and his wife then gave it to Ellen. Oh, okay. She had a larger table that seated 15, mm -hmm. but we got the chairs, six of the chairs back. Oh, and see oh these yeah. are Original chairs. Original chairs, uh-huh. They had to recane them. <clears throat> and then she, the, when the, Mr. Pratt sold the home to them, mm -hmm. he left his china in the cupboards, and it was this pattern. The telephone, <laughs> she, had, she had two lines. Mm -hmm. Her name is in this directory here. Oh. From 1912. See, that was before your time. Oh, 1912. And, and she's got two numbers listed here. 63 and 65. So there was already a telephone in her time. Mm -hmm. yeah. See that? They had to go through the operator. This is the room where she passed away? Yes, yes. Oh. And they would put her bed there in the, in the bay uh -huh. area, the bay window area. So mm -hmm. she got a lot of sunshine and this is a picture of her out on the porch they took her this mm. is the last picture we have of her alive which one is this is she's that, on the oh, porch is that her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they have her on a little bed and this is her funeral service uh, mm -hmm. outside here on the lawn she had three different services mm -hmm. she had one here 400 people mm -hmm. and then they took her to by Richmond mm -hmm. they were traveling on the train and they stopped at the camp meeting oh. in Richmond, California. Then they took her on up to Battle Creek. She she requested to be buried in Michigan because her her two sons are buried there. Had died I, I've seen it before her. I've husband. been there. Oh. I, I visited it. Battle uh, Creek. Yeah. Uh, what's the name of the cemetery? I forgot. Oak Oak, Lawn. Oak Hill. Oak Hill. Yeah. Yeah. Oak Hill. It's yeah. Right over here. Yeah. Oak Hill Cemetery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been there. I visited it. And the. the service right here is 4,000 people were at oh. the Battle Creek town. This is one of the bedrooms for the helpers uh -huh. and all the furniture in here was part of the house when they bought it. Oh wow. Is that a singer? Yes, she sewed on that. My mother had a singer. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> she uh, she probably got that from Mr. Pratt and she sewed on that. Mm -hmm. So this is the this is the Bible that she, like she held in vision for wow. 30 minutes, and it's, it's, um... It's, this is not the original, right? No, this is the copy of but the same But is it type. The, the same type, mm -hmm. and the same, same size? Same, same size. It's 18 and a half pounds. So yeah, and he, she lifted that for how long? She held it for half an hour on one of our very heavy... Oh, <laughs> held it up like that. Yeah, so it was for a miracle. Three. Yeah, and... It was a miracle because the strongest man in America can only hold it for two minutes.